Rightio, so we're now in Photoshop. First of all, I'm going to go to Filter, down to Render, and select Clouds. Next, it's time to go up to Image, down to Adjustments, and select Levels. I can then adjust the shadows, midtones, and highlights, and try and create a bit more contrast in the image. There we go, that looks pretty good to me. Let's click OK. Now I can grab the lasso tool, and then I need to find a piece of cloud that I like. I'm going to go with this piece here, and then click and drag to make a selection. There we go, you can see the old marching ants appear. Now go to Edit, down to Copy, and then Edit and Paste. Now we can hide the background layer, make sure it's selected, and then go and add a new layer. I can then select the Paint Bucket tool, and then fill this new layer with black. This is going to act as a background. I can then double click on the text to rename these layers, and then with Muzzle Flash selected, I'm going to add a layer mask. Now I can select the Brush tool, and from the drop down at the top, I can pick a soft round pressure opacity brush. Adjust the size using the slider, and then with black as my foreground color, I can then gently brush around the edge and remove any of those hard edges, essentially softening the edges up. Now X on the keyboard is the shortcut to switch the foreground and background color, and this will add parts of the image back in. So you can see I'm bringing back a bit of that detail, but I've also brought back in those hard edges. So I will need to switch back to black and then gently soften those up. And you'll see me refine these edges a bit further later in the video. Okay, so I'm going to make sure the muzzle flash layer is selected, go to image, down to adjustments, and select hue and saturation. I can now check colorize and adjust the hue slider to a yellowy orange color and then play around with the saturation and lightness. I'm now going to duplicate the muzzle flash layer and we'll pop a number two on the end. There we go. And I can then change the blending mode to something like overlay or hard light. This is going to blend muzzle flash two into muzzle flash one and create a bit more vibrancy and contrast. Next, select both layers holding shift, right click and select convert to smart object. Now I can go up to edit, down to transform and select warp. Now I can click on the control points or in the middle of the object itself and just pull and drag these in all directions and really use this technique to control the shape of my muzzle flash. Once I've done that, I'm again going to add a layer mask and then use the brush tool just to refine any of those edges and soften them up where they need it. And then with the layer selected, I'm going to go to filter, down to blur gallery and select path blur. Now I'm in here, I'm going to drop a pin on my start and my end point. I don't want this to curve around the corner like this, so just press escape. Now it goes in a straight line. I can bring that speed down a little bit, and this is just going to add a bit more movement to my muzzle flash effect. When you're happy, click OK. And I'm also going to apply some levels adjustments and hue saturation adjustments. Both of these and that path blur are now listed as smart filters underneath the layer. For the next step, I'm going to duplicate the layer with Command or Control J. And I'm actually going to do this multiple times and then use Free Transform to adjust the size, position and rotation and really start to build out my muzzle flash. There we go, looking pretty good. Now I can select all of these layers holding Shift and press Command or Control G to group them together. And because we have a solid black background, you won't see any difference here, but you can use blending modes like Lighten and Screen to blend this over an image if you have an image underneath your muzzle flash. Now using this technique will generate you a different muzzle flash every time you do it, but if you give it a bit of time and love, you can end up with something that looks like this. And there we go, that wraps up the video. So if you did enjoy this one, remember to subscribe. You could ring the bell for notifications. Take care and I'll see you next time.